wetagura <laughs> mnasema ni papa wa wapi roma gani wetagura the constitution says that the majority in parliament are as reflected during the voting day when we vote we kenyans determine the majority and the minority kenya gazette ambayo iliwekwa ilitagaza ruto kama kama diombo atiarieda state house the same kenya gazette declared azimio majority in parliament wetangura led the president correctly kuligana na vile alikuwa alikuwa ameagana hapo bereni kabla ya kupiga kura but when it came to the issue of minority and majority akasoma minority huda became the majority on the floor up to today the kenya gazette still reads the majority on the floor is pa is asimio forget about the shenanigans including the broad based things If you want to go to and I know there are people already in court even the budgets that have been done are unconstitutional because they have been made by the wrong group the majority side of parliament is the one that's supposed to have done the budget not the minority I give you another example of another character you must deal with by the way weta is a disaster <laughs> wetagura na yeye na tilimwakili mmoja ambaye anaheshimika Kenya hii but he is I can't I know because I've dealt with him when I was dealing with Maneno ya Jubilee but he is really one of the fellows at the mining this constitution and one of the people we must keep away from many amendment that you may have in uh, in your thinking Juzi nimeenda Muranga na nilipoeba Muranga two members of parliament said the 2023 finance bill was like a bible so we can we could not read every part of the clause that was in it that is why we to the petition na vitu zingine zinawaumiza Ebuskizen Shimonio You were elected to represent the people including in the making of the budget and then unakuja kuambia wale walikupigia kura at finance bill ilikuwa kama biblia sigeweza kuisoma yote saa hiyo watu wamepigwa kodi ya maavokando makadamia ngombe zinaebasabiwa ni ngapi na wewe ndio ulipitisha And then they, they 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 have no regard for public participation you know what has happened in those uh, in that area Jamani Kuna jamaa mwingine hapa Office of Registrar of Political Parties If you don't pay attention to how she is undermining our constitution even those of you seated here who want to become leaders tomorrow your goose is cooked she is being used day and night and she has already been used to ensure that what we fought for in terms of multi-party democracy has already we are actually losing the gains but if we stand up like we are doing we will be able to stop it i want to tell you that um, when 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 kibaki said free primary edio education hakukua hata haku ameangalia budget haku ameangalia budget muku, muku yake moja ilikuwa juu kwa hewa mkono ilikuwa juu kwa hewa because he, was, he had come from an accident the person who was in charge of us there was then our vice president then mheshimiwa Stephen Karonso Msiuka why because he realized a population that is not educated will be very easy to be manipulated we had been manipulated for 24 years by moi Luto thinks that he can organize the education system so that he can create another population he can manipulate sahau saha sahau hapa hakuna hapo like mheshimiwa kanozo says hashtag wajiga walikwisha kenya that funding model ambayo ameileta ni ubeberu anatrudi he does not want educated population he fears you having led the constitution for yourselves so we want to, pro to produce another generation of people wenye hawajasoma ili awacheze vile waliwachezea if it wasn't for gen z what you did during the from the 25th of june to date we will not be seated here today tulikuwa tumepelekwa hapa kama baiskeli ya kuibiwa 
kuru 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 every akuna every time and ha, he has not stopped i want to tell you my fear of yesterday on top of what uh, uh, kaguta president kaguta said i have a feeling that hiyo kitu ya jana ruto was launching himself for nyanza see baba he was launching himself to go to nyanza for purposes of winning elections 2027 Naira Amoro Odinga be very careful with one William Samoe Ruto I have a feeling he is playing you I have a feeling he is playing you immediately kutoka state house akonyanza sahi so that function of yesterday was for him to launch himself into nyanza pure and simple and when he goes to nyanza he goes to launch projects that are already around naye mwenyewe alikuwa amesahau wapi wapi manani asimame this don't leave yeah yeah aya mambo mawili matatu jkia Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Hello. Imeuzwa bila bunge kuulizwa hata siki kama wageulizwa wagejua lakini iliuzwa. Ruto ameuza. We want to tell those who bought be very careful. When we come to power we will not recognize that sale. Hii Hii ni barabara kule kisi. Ruto was there launching it two weeks ago. Inapita pale inaitwa Ragogo inaenda mpaka nyakoe RW 652 RWC 652 this road the other contractors are in court the contractor on site does not have a contract he is the highest bidder his bid is higher by more than a billion he had he had two companies bidding for the same road So he ensured that one bid was higher than the other one and the that one who is a foreigner to the other two was denied an opportunity to do the road with a less a lesser figure of 1 billion shillings hiyo 1 billion imeshafuliwa contractor ako site hana contract hii kitu iko kotini the courts have said and they have told the director of roads your work is to save public funds Be very careful because this can get you in trouble. Hii tutasukumana naye na sio kwa sababu tu hatupendi watu ya kisi lakini tunapenda Kenya. Lazima tuokoe katiba na tuogoe ke Kenya. Hii barua naye Hii barua This letter was written on the 14th of November 2023 last year. 14th November 2023 and the telephone number of the person who wrote is also here. It is in in regard to a lady called Wairimu. Wairimu Mwangi. And her ID number is here 7185 Hold it. Hold it. Now It is difficult to salimia this one. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Wairimo died last year. <laughs> she She is an old lady. She died when she was at, was at a going treatment at Kenyatta National Hospital. She left a bill of 1.406000 the family has no capacity to raise a coin she is still at kenyatta mochari one year later the family has not buried wairimo na tuko na watu wanasema wako kwa serikali kenya hii this they have tried all they can but they cannot reach anybody ninataka kuuliza kwa sababu sasa wanaweza ki ID na tunataka wamsaidie And I want to say this. Si semi hivyo ndio mtu yote hapa atoe pesa alipe. That kind of populism is what has given us problem in this country. The government has resources to pay or to waive 
these 1.4 million shillings and allow the family of Waimu to bury their shosho. If we do not allow, if we don't, we are not careful to check on the gains we have in this constitution, we have very many Wairimos in Moshari. Those who cannot be able to reach anybody are very many. A system that has corrupted, like the one we have with William Samoe Ruto. He is even relaunching himself. Every day he is relaunching himself. Kill us up. It's a very dangerous thing that we have. If we do not fight for the multi-party democracy that we thought we got it when we had the constitution, Pia Tukonashida. I'm saying all these things for Zababu. Pekina Omaru walikuwa mesahau. Mimi nilikuwa tamo kati ya umoja wala walikuwa naivasha kwa hii mabu ya katiba. Allow me to call this gentleman to stand up. Sumama tu. 1997. This gentleman. This gentleman led demonstration in Kenyatta University. He was, he was expelled from the university. It is our leader, opposition leader, Stephen Karonzo Musioka, when he became the, pre the vice president of the Republic of Kenya, who put him back to the university. The reason, the reason why he was being expelled, long live. The reason why he was expelled as I finish was because he led the demonstration because my own nephew, hello, my own nephew had been killed by the Moi regime during the tribal crashes. Up to today, no justice. Same thing with the young people who were killed during the GNC protest and the people who were killed during the Azimio. Up to today, broad-based government, I never wore the safria mutu wapatiwe echeo kwa serikali. Uh-uh. That is nonsense. And you must be ashamed of yourself if you are holding an office on account of a dead young man somewhere who is not buried to date.